So for the past couple of weeks, I've been on some kind of a genre cruise. I've just been experimenting with a couple of other genres and just seeing how far I could push my production. It turned out pretty good. I'm pretty proud of myself and what I've created. If you want to check them out, I'll link them in the description. But anyway, I felt like it was time to return back to home base. And by home base, I mean sleepy lo-fi. Some soothing, melancholic, sleep-inducing sleepy lo-fi. I've always said that you can tell just how good a sleepy lo-fi track is, judging by how sleepy it makes you by the end of the song. So let's see if I can make a sleepy lo-fi song that can put you guys to sleep. It's actually been a minute since I've made Sleepy Lo-Fi. So yeah, let's start out with a piano progression. Now a month ago, I purchased the Spitfire Audio Originals Felt Piano. I feel like it serves a better purpose with the high end of the piano than the low end. So we'll come back to this when we need a piano lead. But for a piano progression, it's gotta be the OG Imajiro piano. So I did think of a piano progression before I started filming. So let's just see if I can play it out properly. The track is gonna be in 50 BPM, by the way. That actually turned out much better than I thought it would. Now let me just spend a couple of minutes quantizing everything and seeing if any extra notes are needed or should be removed. 12 seconds later. Okay, turns out it didn't need a lot of quantization or adding a removal of extra notes, which is quite surprising for my recording. But yeah, this is the piano progression that I made. First thing I want to do is I just want to reduce the hammer sound and a little bit of the noise. Now as you can hear, there's a little bit of etherealness to the piano. And I achieved that using this plugin called Crystallizer with the Grantacular 2 preset. Like this is the main delay plugin that I put on all my pianos like every time. After that, I have a fruity multiband compressor just to, you know, compress the piano, make sure it's not peaking or anything. And then I have a fruity EQ. I've cut off the sub bass and lowered the bass and low mid section. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's just paste it in our canvas. For those of you who are new, I only make 16 bars during this tutorial. But then if the song is good enough, if I think the song is good enough, and if you guys think the song is good enough, I will make it into a full song and consider releasing it. Hasn't happened till now, but then, you know, one can hope. Let's start adding some ethereal sounds to just layer this thing and make it ambient and just sleep worthy, I guess. Maybe like an arpeggio lead. Let me just test out one thing before we dive into that sound. There's this certain preset on Valhalla Supermassive that I've seen a lot of ambient artists use. Yoink! I don't want to jinx it, but these recordings are going surprisingly accurately well. And with that, I may have just fucked myself for the rest of the video. Quantize that real quick. Control Q. Extend that. Four bars. I think I like that.
want to add a guitar, but then I'm wondering if I should do an acoustic or an electric guitar. Oh yeah, definitely. We're going with the acoustic. Now to give this guitar a more wider sound, this is this new trick that I learned. Now I got this tip from my friend and fellow lo-fi producer Aniket. You guys should definitely go check him out. He's one of the most talented lo-fi producers I've ever met. He told me about this FL Studio plugin called FL Stereo Shaper. Now I've known about it, but then to me, I just thought it was like another stereo widening plugin. But then it's so much more than that. I'll show you what we can do with it. The fifth channel here is the acoustic guitar. So I'm going to name it Guitar Mid. And by Guitar Mid, I don't mean that the recording of the guitar is mid. There's a type of processing called the mid side processing. This is a type of stereo processing where you process the middle and the sides of the sound differently, separately. After you rename the guitar mid, side chain it to the channel next to it, which is number six. Now for the sixth channel, you're going to name it guitar side. Now we go back to channel number five and we load in the plugin that I was talking about, the fruity stereo shaper. Click this arrow over here and go to presets. Now go down until you see mid A side splitter. Now I'm just going to solo the fifth and sixth channel and you can hear the guitar now. So if I reduce the sides, listen to what it sounds like. You can hear that the guitar suddenly went mono because I'm cutting out the sides. I'll do the same thing with channel number five. While the guitar is playing, I'll cut the middle part. Now you can only hear the sides. To reduce muddiness, you can bring down the middle of the sound and boost the sides. So it'll still retain that wide sound without muddying up the mix. This is going to kick your mixing game to a whole new level. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of this effect rack. The delay sound is a little too annoying. Just to add another layer for the sake of it, I'm gonna add another guitar, this time an electric guitar. I didn't have to record all these bars. I could have just recorded four notes and then copy pasted it. I'll add a bass real quick. It just sounds so incomplete without a bass. I need to add a piano lead too, but before I add a piano lead, I'm just gonna add some drums. Now for the piano lead, originals felt. Yoink. Duplicate this and bring it down an octave. Okay, we gotta bring down the velocities like a lot. The song is done. I'm just gonna do a little bit of light mixing, add an intro and outro, try to make it into somewhat of a song for 16 bars at least. And after all that, this is what it's gonna sound like.
I hope you guys enjoyed the song that I made. I think it's been like a month or a month and a half since I've made a Sleepy Lo-Fi track, so I feel like I'm a little rusty. Anyway, like and subscribe if you like this video. If you enjoyed this video, go and check out my other videos and uh, make sure to subscribe. And yeah, that's it for today. I'll see you next week.